Beach. Hey, 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 y'all. Happy Friday to everyone. Happy weekend, everyone. I hope everyone have a good one, a safe one, and a cool one. It's going to be hot, 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 hot. It's going to be in the hundreds here. I feel like it's a hundred. Anyway, so Adrian, um, and said she, you know, and then got caught the love bug when it comes to Mr. Rex and accepting him and all his drama and all his, you know, I don't know how many kids he had, but you did act like he had more than one. And he, she did act like he has more than one baby mother. But in particular, she talking about one of his baby mamas where I guess she took some of his money out allegedly, I guess, and Mr. Rex was mad and upset and she couldn't hold him back from stumbling out the house to go. I don't know what he was going to do. I guess get get on to the the baby mama. I guess you know do something to the. I don't know. You know allegedly, allegedly. But my thing is this. Okay, Adrian. Okay, good that she you know found somebody or whatever like that. She just you know all over the place telling all the business. But that's what she been doing for years. So it's no surprise to me. You know it's it's, it's commentary for me. You know, she giving me commentary of her on her because she always gonna come on here and tell. You know, she always gonna come on here and tell what's going on in her life, even if she exaggerates a little bit. You know, on some things, but she still gonna come on here and tell it like it is and tell what she got going on. So she was just saying, Mr. Reyes got a bad moment that she's psycho. I, I mean, and trying to say the woman is crazy and all this good stuff. Like Adrian, have you looked in the mirror? But anyway, that's either here or there. But she was trying to say that the woman was crazy and this and that. And she did like, I guess, I don't know, trying to insinuate the woman jealous or something like that because, you know, Mr. Rex with Adrian or whatever. And um, they got a nine-year-old together or whatever. And he trying to find a place. She trying to help him find a place. She giving him places to look at for him to have a two-bedroom for his son to come over. Um, I don't know if Adrian, Adrian seemed like she was trying to find a place for him. And then in another breath, it seemed like she was trying to find a place for them to stay in. You know what I'm saying? Saying like that because she's talking about we'll see how everything works out. And like she trying to move in. That's a, that's a high mess waiting to happen. Because Adrian barely get along with grown people. You know, so I, I don't see her staying with no, nobody with no child. I don't, I don't. Um, for no long period of time. I don't, I don't. I think Adrian should keep her wherever she at, keep her place and just come over and visit uh, Rex because it seems that that's just my opinion. But, you know, she's grown 50-some years old or 50. I don't know. Was she 50, 51, 50, 49, something like that. I really don't know. Um, but she up there. I know she up, but I know she up there. But it seems nice to me that she could you know, just keep continue to just, you know, let him come over and spend time with her and like that because I don't feel like she should go moving in or trying to or senior weight or even think about it or whatever. But she's grown. She can do what she wants. She don't, and she's going to do what she wants. But I feel like there's a, a hot mess waiting to happen, a, a disaster waiting to happen. But I'm glad I did hear her say that she's going to wait to see how um, – everything plays out with Mr. Rex. I'm glad to hear her say that. She was like, I'm going to wait to see how everything plays out with Mr. Rex, see if everything going to work out, you know, and see how everything is going to go with him, basically. And that's good because, yeah, you need to wait to see how everything's going to play out. She did say that, but then in the next verse, she's saying some old other stuff. She said she got more to tell. She said she got more, um, juicy stuff to tell and I'll be here for it because like I said it's commentary for me it's commentary for me and on my channel for us to react to and us to have dialogue about when it comes to Adrian and Mr. Rex right um that's, a, that's one thing but my thing is this right so she says that you know he told her everything that was going on with the baby mama right but it's always two sides three sides to a story her side his side and then the truth and you know god sees all okay and we can't hear we can't hear what her side is because adrian taking a man's side because she will you know she will rex and adrian ain't gonna say i ain't gonna talk to the woman the woman ain't gonna talk to adrian so we would never know mr rex telling all the full details of the story we will never know because you have to communicate uh, with the other person, even though people do lie, people do make up stuff, people do add on and exaggerate. You know, a lot of people do these days, okay? And it's just, it's just people don't know how to keep it real. You know, they be, you know, adding on like Adrian be doing. She tells the truth, but she, you know, dramatic. You know, she, 
she, she says it's for entertainment purposes, but it's really for her. It, you know, it's for you know, yeah, it is for entertainment purposes. It's entertaining us with it, but at the same time, it's her real. It's part of her real life, and then at the same time, she's doing it because she knows she's gonna get paid. So she, everybody, really benefiting off the situation. Really, when you really think about it. But do I think as though that her and Mr. Rex are um, going to last? Only time will tell. They said they, you know, she said she ended with him. He ended with her. They still, you know, they still doing their thing. Um, we will see. But when it comes to the baby mama drama and stuff like that, I'm just going to see how it pan out. But to me, she don't need to be moving in with the man. Because uh, she don't even barely get along with grown people. And she don't know people. They can get along with her, but she have a problem getting along with people. So I don't think that'll work out. You know, I don't really think that'll work out. And then she said that, that, that she have no talk to a man to have young kids. Of course, he's younger than you, Adrian. Of course, he's gonna have young kids because he is not up. In, he's not up in you like you and Ken age. He's not up there in your age. Not saying that older people don't have young kids because some people do start off late having kids. So I'm not trying to say that. It's just the point of she just. I don't know, y'all feel me. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. I'm just giving my scenario. I know y'all probably tired of me rumbling on and on. But let me know how y'all feel about the baby mama drama. Him having a nine-year-old. Him possibly having more baby mamas because she insinuated that he had like more or more kids. But she only talking about this nine-year-old. I don't really know. Then she said she's in love. Um, she got the love bug and she's going to stick beside him. Y'all let me know what y'all feel about the situation. See y'all in the comments below. If if y'all see anything else over there on Adrian that I miss or, you know, because I binge watch her channel to get a video, you know, that's what I do. I, I don't go over there when she just got like one video. I will go over there and watch like three or four videos or four or five videos at a time to get my commentary because because she used to do longer videos but she doesn't now so y'all let me know what y'all feel hit that uh, subscribe button support the channel bye bye